what's up ladies and gentlemen today's video is brought to you guys by wondershare and we're actually taking a look at their software known as tunes go it is new and it is for both ios and android it's an interesting way of interacting with the media on your device now a lot of people don't want to have the pain of dealing with itunes on the ios end and a lot of people don't like using file manager the default file manager for windows on the windows end because it can be a pain trying to drag and drop all the time and making sure where everything is because folders are not the easiest things to deal with when you have to go and name everything so of course as you guys can see here i got myself my ipad and of course as you can see there are a variety of options right at home you can go and rebuild your itunes library transfer itunes media to the device backup photos to the pc and of course there's phone to phone transfer you can also mess around with the music on your device so of course i currently don't have much music but you know we'll put some music on there in just a second for example sake then of course the videos the photos and i do have a few photos then of course the information of your device your application so of course it's a little bit more than just messing around with maybe your photos and of course videos you can go and actually mess around with all your applications as well now what can you do with your applications you can actually install and uninstall them directly from this app or you could export the data to of course windows Next, there is a full-fledged explorer. So as you guys can see, I got my DCIM. If I want to check out what photos I have in here, maybe some recordings, I'm not sure if I have any, nope. And of course, purchases, photo data, a bunch of other cool stuff that you can mess around with inside of File Manager. Now, of course, iOS is going to introduce a full-fledged file manager built into it uh, around iOS 11 when it does come out. But for now, you know what? We got this, and this is probably the best file manager uh, well, the best way you can deal with the files on your phone for now until a full-fledged application and toolkit do come out. Now, as you guys can see, there is a whole different section with 10,000 more options right here. As you can see, the software can pretty much do it all. There's like 30 different types of software out there. One does backups, one does music transfer, one does, back, uh, I don't know, backs up your photos only. This basically takes all of those, takes the best of them, and combines them into one big thing, which is really awesome. Now, here we got ourselves our transfer tool, so you can rebuild your iTunes library, as I mentioned before. And of course, there is the transfer iTunes media to the device and phone to phone transfer. That's pretty cool. So if you want to transfer data from your old phone to your new phone or your iPhone to your iPad or your brand new Samsung to your iPhone, either way, you can go and do that with this because this does support both Android and iOS. You can also back up the device, all the files directly to your PC, or if you don't feel like doing a restore on your device and you would like to do it via the PC instead because you know you really like the software then of course you can do that from here as well finally it has some peculiar tools at the bottom it actually has a ringtone maker how cool is that I'm actually gonna check that out real quick that's what it looks like so you can actually click on maybe like your local music here's all my random music and maybe I could choose this song by David Guetta and Justin Bieber open that up and just like that I have access to a full-fledged ringtone maker how cool is that I can actually play it set it to start and of course maybe even have the ringtone audition and of course set to finish which basically means that I can splice and dice however I want choose the exact few seconds that I want playing when my ringtone goes off maybe even add a fade in and fave, uh, fade out and finally you can go and either save that to your PC or save that directly to your device depending on what you're feeling and this is all built directly into the software how cool is that this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a little bit. There's also an option to fix your iOS or iPod. Maybe you tried jailbreaking it. Maybe, I don't know, a software update killed it. Anything of that sort. Currently, my iPad, thankfully, is not broken. But if something were to be broken, you can fix the iPod in two different types of ways. One, if it can't be read by iTunes. That's a problem that I've had in the past dozens and dozens of times. Almost every time I've gone through a software update, I have to go and mess around with a few things before I can go and find it inside of iTunes. So if that's a problem, click that button and you should be set to go in terms of that then of course there's the fix ipod which fails to load music this is an unusual problem i have not yet had to deal with however i have seen other people who have had to so you simply choose the option you want click start and of course it will do that however i'm not currently having problems so it's not relevant at the moment finally there's a gif maker uh let's see what this looks like okay this is pretty cool so you can actually import photos and video into here choose the output size 200 times 200 frame rate and of course save it directly to your pc simply hit add and you can add some photos and videos that's pretty cool if you're looking for a gif maker out there and nothing else inside of the software because you don't need everything else in the software just yet and you just need the gift maker and this is probably the spot to go especially if you're looking for one for windows and not necessarily one of the applications that just have a trillion ads inside of them finally as i mentioned backup 
we're gonna go ahead and check this out this is of course how you restore files this is how you back up the device it checks how much info you have on there in the first place and you choose where it backs up simply hit the backup button and just like that it will back everything up how cool is that phone to phone transfer I, I do need to connect two devices which I don't have at the second transfer iTunes media to device so of course if you would like to take your entire iTunes library transfer it to the device without ever having to open iTunes this is the way to go. Then of course, there is the rebuild iTunes library. So you can transfer your iOS or Android media and directly to iTunes. That looks something like this. How cool is that? So of course you can play around with iTunes without having to deal with all the complexities of iTunes. iTunes got a lot better back in the day. It was beyond ridiculous to use, but for now, iTunes isn't too, too bad, you know, but you know, if this is what you're feeling, go ahead and use this as well. Special shout out to this awesome file explorer as well. As you guys can see, everything is organized on the left side. It says phone, you also have your U disk, and of course you can even mark certain things to remember them. And you can go and add export. You can add new folders directly into this. I'm just gonna make one for kicks right now. We're gonna call it subscribe because that's what you guys should be doing. Okay, that's terrible. Oh, subscriber, you know what? Shout out to you guys because why not? All right, so after that, we got ourselves our apps. And as I mentioned before, you can install them or uninstall them. And I got ourselves contacts. Then of course, photos. I'm not sure why these are black. Maybe I just took some pretty bad screenshots, but here's a photo we can work with. As you guys can see, we got, let's see, we can actually transfer them directly to our Windows device or delete them from here. So I actually really don't want some of these images because I don't know what they are. So yeah, you know what? Deleting photos. And we're pretty much set to go. Uh, videos I don't have, and of course music. All right, so the whole thing is called Tunes Go, and the whole thing is that you can easily transfer your tunes and play around with your tunes. So let's put some songs on this iPad without having to deal with iTunes. So I'm gonna hit add, I'm gonna add a file, and as you guys can see, here are a variety of songs. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and add some DJ Snake in here, cause why not? Transferring media, one out of one, just like that. I have a song on my device. I never had to sync iTunes, I didn't have to go through and sync everything out there just to get one song on my device. It was instantaneous. How cool is that? Now, if you actually want to add an entire folder, you can also go and do that. So maybe, I don't know, we're gonna put our dance folder in here. And just like that, it's gonna start transferring all 39 songs that was inside of that folder. So I'm just gonna let that happen real quick. I think the coolest part is how fast it happens. 23, 24, 28, 30, I can't even keep up. 36, 39, done. Okay, I got all these songs on my iPad now. How cool is that? I never had to buy them. I never had to go into iTunes, none of that. And this is actually organized in an iTunes-like manner because, you know, as you can see, there's iTunes U right here, podcasts, you can have your own ringtones, and even audiobooks in here should you choose to use it. And if you have playlists, you can go and mess around with those in here as well. So yeah, the whole thing is uh, conceptualized around tunes and obviously this is what the main thing is meant to be but if you do get this for your tunes you're gonna find that there are a variety of interesting perks that you can play around with as I mentioned so if you want to make a ringtone or a gif you know what go for it why not hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe go ahead and check this out and of course hopefully you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off